My name is Dennis Grafoni. Welcome to how to use content libraries on vSphere 6.5. I'm recording this video for personal training and it will take about 10 minutes. This video is the best view for a level 2 or level 3 engineer. So let's start. In this video I'm going to connect to the vCenter and if you can see the server is called vCenter on the domain mylab.education In this video I'm going to use the content libraries and if you want to learn more, I suggest you to read the vSphere Virtual Machine Administration Guide from page 69. What I'm going to do now is creating a new content library that I will call Optimized Content Library. In optimized content library, ensure lower CPU usage and faster streaming of the content over HTTP traffic. And as you can see, once a library is created with the optimizer for syncing over HTTP checkout, this published library cannot be reverted back or unpublished to a local library and cannot be used to deploy virtual machines. And this is also useful to know if you are preparing your VMware certification. And as you can see, for this optimized content library, the publishing option is gray out. I'm going now to create a new content library called ISO Content Library. Only for this vCenter domain. It will be a local only content library in a local data store. And as you can see, the optimizer content library was initially published while the ISO content library don't. And what I'm going to do now is to publish the ISO content library. And enable the user authentication for access to this content library with a password. And as you can see, the ISO content library is now published for an external use. And now I'm going to import items to this content library from local file as the Windows Server 2012 R2 ISO image.
Just for training I'm going to copy on Notepad the subscription URL I will use later. I'm now connected to a secondary vCenter called vCenter site from an external domain called my site lab in a different network. And I'm going to create a new content library that I will also call ISO Content Library. This time subscribed from the primary site. I'm going to paste the subscription URL from the primary site. I'm going to enable authentication with the password. And I'm going to select download library content only when needed. In this case, you download only the metadata for the items in the published library. If you want to synchronize the library, just select Synchronize. As you can see, the automatic synchronization is enabled by default with the external content library. And as you can see, in this site, the Windows Server 2012 ISO is not locally stored. And just for training, I'm going to add also the vCenter ISO that I used to do the installation. And now I'm in the external site and I'm going to synchronize this content library with the metadata information we have from the primary site. And if you need a local copy of a specific file, just click on Synchronize Item. And before to finish this video, I'm going to subscribe a local copy in the primary site.
As you can see, the arrow is on the opposite direction. And we are now at the end of the video, so I'm going to delete the content library we created, deleting also the file in the data store. And before we delete the optimizer content library, I want to show you that by design, you can find the option Streaming Optimized. So thank you for watching this video, subscribe on my channel and if you like, let's keep in touch through my website. Bye bye.